Yo, what's up? Just doing a video on this um, RB20E with a 20D head on it because I've had a few people asking about it now so I thought I'd do a video So there's the old single cam head Here's a twin cam 20D head But that is the head that came off of the car and that is the 20 d head that I've put on it so it's still got the original single cam bottom end on it but if I take you out here go and have a look at one So this is a 20E block, and then I'll go and grab a 20D piston because then I can show you how they're different. Alright, so that's that 20E piston, because this is a 20E bottom end. It's got a real deep gouge here, and two real deep gouges here. And then this one is... I'm unsure if this is a 20D or 20DE piston, but those gouges are noticeably smaller. So that's where it gets the higher compression is from that piston, but it still runs fine. So then another thing with the 20E block is, because it's single cam, and it's only running the one cam out tensioner, there's already a hole here, which is drilled and tapped, it's already threaded, so you can install um, the second tensioner. So yeah, that's already there. So that's what I was saying, with the blocks, they're all pretty much, I, I believe the block is all the same through 20E, 20DE and debt, only thing different is the internals, so everything in there. Alright, so here's a 20E engine. And here's a 20D head. So, you take off all your head bolts. All your head bolts in here so that your head will come off then there is a tiny little 10 mil in there one there and one there and then if I can set this up Just lift it off. Now your twenty E heads off. Don't need that anymore. Um that hole here next to your oil filter is where your oil pressure sensor screws in so you unscrew him and get yourself a T so you want one where the oil pressure sensor can screw onto it was just an example because this isn't the right pitch so you want that on that side and then on this side you'd run your turbo oil feed line and then uh, I'll just use this hole here for example because this screws in 
then it would look like that down here. So you'd have that on one side and you'd have your oil feed off the other side. And I'll show you that on that car. So there's that T fitting. Can't quite see it. Just there. That's the oil feed. And then the oil return we have. Uh, it's hard to do this while it's in there. Hang on. Grab that light again. Oh, there it is, right there. Oil return is just there. Um, get a bit of view through here. Right there, and it's welded onto the sump. Into the side. Then you'd get your 20 dead head. Put your head gasket on there, obviously. Make sure you've got both the the dowels there still in the in the block. Let's sit this here again. Line up your dowels. And there you go. 20 dead heaters on there. So then you put your 10 mil screw back down in there. One back there. One back there. And then drop all your head bolts in and torque it up and then you just treat it like you like you were just doing a head gasket on a 20 dead and then put the whole top end back together how you would if it was a 20 dead so you put all your plenum on your turbo manifold everything that you would if it was a 20 dead And one of these help, I printed off one of these off the Nico forum. I'll put the link in the description. It's the engine manual. So it even tells you with the 28, it'll take you how, tell you how to take the head off and everything. And then you go and you follow this page and treat it all like you would if it was a 28. So there's, you'd put your other tensioner on and whatnot. So now going from that page there where with the tensioner there's the single cam tensioner but now that you got the twin cams you need the belt to run through two of them here and right there there's a hole already threaded and everything so you just buy a tensioner uh, a cam belt kit for a 20 deck with the tensioners and then just find the bolt that's long enough for that and yeah whack it on like it's a 20 debt so now you yeah, pretty much just tweet, treat it like it's a 20 debt not a 20 e your bottom end's 20 e but you're not doing anything to the bottom end now you're assembling the top end as if it was a 20 debt and then it'll turn out like this and then just remember to uh Drill and weld a return onto your sump for your turbo. And then you need to make sure you got your 20 dip manifold. Oh. Why doesn't that one go on? Perhaps 
upside down, eh? <laughs> Yeah. Yep, so now it's essentially a 20 dip. And then just need all your coil packs and igniter and stuff like that, which I just borrowed that off this car. Which is just a standard 20 DE, but I used its coil packs and Igniter loom and whatnot, but it's essentially one of these now. So yeah, see you later, twenty E. You need a twenty D airflow meter. I'm just running the twenty D R thirty two loom, but um, he remade it from up here. So that it still powers from where the 20E was getting its power from because some, I think most debts get their power from this plug here. But yeah, that's just a modified R32 20D loom, which then runs into there to a 20D ECU. Uh, what else did I do? There's two knock sensors down on the side of the block instead of one, so you just got to get another um, knock sensor. If anyone has any questions or something I've missed, or yeah, just want to ask me about something about it, just leave a comment because I'm pretty active on YouTube. So, yup.